some good morning on the farm. I decided to take y'all around my mornings um, in late spring, early summer. So I start off in the greenhouse. I am watering trays. It gets really hot in the greenhouse right now and I need to go ahead and water them. Um, sometimes plants really trick you in the mornings in the greenhouse because it seems like they are watered. And in fact, they do need to be watered. So I'm doing that. I'm uh, fertilizing them with some fish emulsion. It is very stinky. So I definitely make sure to do it outside. Otherwise, it will smell. I think I'm a little bit used to the smell, but when my husband comes in, he's like, what is that smell? I'm not sure what happened to my marigolds right here. I think a chicken came in and kind of landed on this tray somehow. But the mornings on the farm are absolutely beautiful. The flowers are starting to bloom. All of the beautiful morning sounds, the kitty cats, the birds, all the things, everything's green. It is just such a wonderful moment in the mornings to walk around the farm and just kind of check on everything and see how everything is doing. All the beautiful snapdragons, and the beautiful seedlings, everything is just so exciting. I'm also gathering eggs this morning. That is not really something I do in the mornings. I try to do it in the evenings um, so they don't get their eggs messy uh, after perching up all night and pooping on them. Um, but I have not been doing that. So in the mornings I get them. I have a broody hen and I don't really know what to do with her. So I just get the eggs out from under her and hopefully she'll break of it soon. Um, the chickens keep wanting to get out. It's very annoying. <laughs> Ducks love to just lay their eggs anywhere. I'm pretty sure there's no rhyme or reason to ducks, um, but I usually am just on an Easter egg hunt to find those. This is where the chickens keep getting out. Um, they have found their little spot and they are now laying eggs everywhere. I knew whenever I went to get eggs, there wasn't really many in the chicken coop. So I knew they had to be laying somewhere else and this is where they're getting out. So I'll have to tell Ethan about that. The privet, I know, is very invasive and it just comes up everywhere, but it is so beautiful in the morning um, while it's in bloom right now. I found eggs. This is just the hay bale that we had out there. So that's obviously what they pick to lay their eggs in. And I found the eggs pretty much everywhere. So this turned into um, a Easter egg hunt for sure. And I felt pretty certain that there was eggs in that wood pile, but I was not gonna be the one to check it out. Um, whatever eggs is in there can stay in there as far as I'm concerned. I found another duck egg, not surprising. Also walking around the farm, I realized that I have a hole in my boot. Those are the boots that I wear every day. They're my muck boots and it looks like I'm going to have to get another pair. Those are some vegetable starts that I have. Not doing many vegetables, but I, I didn't want to miss out, so I had to do some. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Morning on the farm. I love to start my mornings with lighting a candle. I don't know what it is, but getting breakfast going, having my alone time. Um, I love a candle, but already a kid is awake. Is that surprising when you're trying to do something? I think not. Uh, this morning, I'm also getting some yogurt started. We love yogurt in the mornings because it's just a really easy, simple breakfast um, to just have some yogurt, a little bit of honey, and some fruit, and keep going because mornings are busy on the farm, especially when it comes to doing flowers, all the farm chores, feeding animals, we really need something simple and easy in the mornings to just help us get going um, with all the things that we need to do and then um, have a nice dinner later. So I'm making yogurt in an instant pot. I'm just taking some cream off and um, using the rest of the skim milk for yogurt. I do a half gallon at a time and I really should start doing a whole gallon um, as much as I've been making yogurt lately but I'll keep that cream for my coffee in the mornings. And it's so delicious. 
So Ethan has already done his farm chores. Um, he feeds the pigs and the chickens and all that every morning. And I handle the flowers and the kids pretty much. Um, so he is finishing his breakfast up and then he is headed out to his, we call it his real job, the non-farm job. Um, so he's a crop consultant off the farm. And I'm getting started on a Dutch baby. We love Dutch babies. They're also super easy in the morning. You just throw everything in the blender, blend it all up, put it in a hot skillet, and bake it. And it is so delicious, especially with our um, pure sorghum syrup that we make. And it's just a lovely breakfast to have. So the next baby is up. Bo has already been awake this morning. He usually wakes up pretty early and I feed him and he goes back to sleep. All right, the yogurt is done boiling. It's come up to temperature and now it has to cool off. So I'm moving on to other things like laundry. Everyone loves laundry. Um, this is some kind of sheet that Ethan wanted to wash that he had out in the barn. I don't know. I said, I'll wash it, throw it in the dryer and then you deal with it. Um, but I try to do laundry every morning and usually it ends up I miss one day and then we have seven loads to do. I know that's not uncommon for any moms, especially a farm mom whose kids go through so many clothes anyways because they're just always dirty. Um, so trying to get that done and started because laundry is one of my least favorite chores. I want to go ahead and get it over with so I can move on to things that I actually want to do, um, like farm related things. So I'm trying to get all that done and just move on with the morning. Oh, I forgot that I had an Azure order that was due today. So I'm just going through and seeing what other extra things that I might want. Um, just looking at chocolate chips. They're a little bit expensive, but they are so good. The Dutch baby is ready. It's coming out. I love how the Dutch baby looks. How it just kind of spreads up almost over the pan. The kids are finishing their morning chores. They wake up every morning, have chores. Um, it's not a lot, especially for their age. It's just really basic things like getting up, make your bed, brush your teeth, get dressed, unload the dishwasher. Um, just kind of things that we should do in the mornings, like just getting ready for the day and just want to instill that in them because I, as an adult, have a very hard time with that anyways. So I'm just getting ready and getting started on making everyone's plates. It is piping hot, but it is gonna be so yummy. Ethan already did some bacon up for us this morning, so I'm gonna add that to all of our plates. Next up on the agenda is homeschool. I try to get that done in the mornings because if you homeschool, you know if you don't get it done in the mornings, um, the likelihood of it getting done later goes down exponentially. And yes, I am a little bit embarrassed that our homeschool shelf cabinet, we don't really know what we're calling it, um, is so messy. And that is not on the agenda today, so it's just gonna have to stay like that a little bit longer. Um, Angel Jo got everything out. She got out a couple more things than we actually needed for the day. Um, that's okay. 
we are not. We try to take homeschool very um, laid back, gentle. Um, and Vivian usually keeps herself busy by doing colors or she has a couple of old homeschool things at Ainsley Joe's. She likes to pretend homeschool. Um, Ainsley Joe loves to recite poems. That's probably her favorite part of homeschool poems and Bible verses she loves to memorize and to recite. So um, we always make sure to do that for her fun part of the day. I'm now adding the culture to my yogurt. I just get these little things from Kroger or Walmart. It's just a little thing of yogurt. That way, if somebody doesn't, uh, or if somebody does finish up all the yogurt, I still have a little bit of culture in the fridge. So I'm just adding that and we'll let that incubate for the rest of the day. So after homeschool is done, the kids pretty much have free reign for the rest of the morning to go outside and just do whatever they want, have free play. And that way mama has the rest of the morning to do whatever I need to do. Um, so that is what I did. I checked on the chicks and did a couple other farm things. So thank y'all for coming along and spending the morning on the farm with us. Mm -hmm.